Okay, so in this uh, video, I'm going to show you how you can, uh, the look and feel of the Ready Learning LMS from the administrator's point of view. And I've logged in to our demo company as Kathy Watts, the Director of Payroll and HR at, at this company. And let's begin by taking a look at how you can access and manage the learning and developmental opportunities for your organization. Now, as a manager of people, you can access and see everything for your team. You will be able to create course material, assign courses to your employees, and make sure that your organization has everything needed to succeed from a developmental perspective. On this learning tab that has been added to her dashboard, you can see we've got a lot of immediate reports and things that we can use. Uh, looking at expired certifications and different things of that nature. When you click the Ready Learning LMS icon, it will take you directly to the report for the assigned courses so that you can see the assigned courses and other status of courses um, uh, for your employees that are in your uh, management. Um, when you look at this particular report, just like any of the other reports in um, Scissortail, you can have the option to create new views and save filtered lists. So here we're looking at everyone who is currently um, under Kathy's management that are in the Bloodborne Pathogen Training. We can jump to any of those things from here. Managers can also access their Learning Academy right from this screen. As we access our Learning Academy, you're immediately brought to the dashboard or a control panel, which gives you quick insight into various uh, training activities across your organization. For example, um, you, have, you can see your course completion rate or exam succession. Uh, rate, etc. Let me pull this down just a little bit so that you can really see those uh, dashboards real well. You can see you can drill down just like in scissor tail, you can drill down on the different parts of the pie charts and see the information that makes up exactly what, what that part of the chart is. Across the top of the screen, you have an easy to use navigation board that's scalable based upon your security set settings. And if we go to the library, as the administrator, you have the ability to manage all of the content that's available so you can ensure that your employees have access to the right training materials as needed. This tool allows you to create your own training courses and learning content, giving you more control over the content that you push out to your employees. When creating content, you can upload your own documents and in the upload button, this is where you can do things like if you have existing PowerPoints or um, you want to record your own quick overview to set expectations for your learners as they complete their course. You can put everything that you've already created and just upload it here. Um, then if you wanted to, uh, maybe you have some videos in YouTube or something, that you have content training that's already available, you can add the link in the upload link area. So uh, once you've gathered all of your relevant uh, training content, then you can create your own course material. So we would do that from going to tools and then create courses. And this is where you can do um, some, some um, you know, put descriptions in and be very descriptive, set up your requirements, set up all of the course information. And after your course has been created and you do the drag and drop of all of that content that you've created, then you can start assigning those um, items to your employees. So you would go to tools and assign training. And from this screen, you can locate the training that you need to assign by doing a search. 
you just type your search information in here. We'll start with communicating. And uh, I just put in part of the word and it filtered down to some of the different content that's available. Um, then once you've done that, then you can actually assign that to the employees. Now I'm going to go back um, to the um, assign training tab. And instead of going to the, um, well, let's, let's drill down on the communicating one more time. Let's do that. So let's do the communing with, communicating with colleagues and then we can search or filter our list depending on how we want to do that. I'm just going to search for Josh um, right now and you can see that Josh Bronson has already enrolled in this course. But you can also click on the advanced assignment button. And keep in mind, you can use the automated assignment rule to auto assign courses to an employee who matches the criteria. And it's a way to ensure that your new hires have been assigned all of the relevant training curriculum. Once you're done assigning courses and uh, your employees have begun taking the courses, then you'll be able to report on anything that they've taken. Once you're done in the system, then all you would have to do is go to this power button up here and just log out. That's all there is to it.